Hello, and welcome to Unpacking with Cargo Bay. On this episode, we are going to talk about the must-haves when traveling internationally. Now, as a pilot, I travel around the world. I've been to probably over 30 countries, and these are the absolute must-haves that are in my bag every time I prepare for my trip. So, first of all, Konnichiwa from Osaka, Japan. Now, this is not my first time here. I'd probably say out of all of my destinations, I've spent the most time in uh, Osaka, Japan, right here. So I, I love this city. There's a lot to do. Uh, I have about a 26 hour layover here. About to go out uh, with the crew, grab some dinner. So let's get right to it. All right, so the international must haves. First and foremost, and probably my most favorite thing is this little device right here. It's um, PokeFi. And just think of it as Wi-Fi in your pocket. No matter where I go, this little device, I just turn it on. Whatever country I'm in, turn it on, instant Wi-Fi, wherever I'm at. And I switched to this device because at first I was using my, uh, my cellular data plan. And the company I was with charged $10 a day for international. And I kind of just got tired of my phone bill being, you know, uh, upwards of a hundred dollars extra because uh, I can easily spend you know seven to ten days abroad each month so uh, the phone bill was becoming excessively high and um, that Wi-Fi in my pocket PokeFi beautiful so uh, that's my favorite and definitely a must-have secondly the international adapter It'll plug in, it'll definitely plug into any outlet that's in your wall. Um, has different countries here on the side. It says the EU, UK, uh, USA, Australia, and let's just pick the Australia one, for example. And all you have to do is, oh, I already have one selected. That's the UK. But, you know, you just select one of the um, outlets and you can go ahead, plug it into the wall. And once you plug it into the wall in whatever country you're in, boom, you just plug in your us uh devices or what have you and it'll charge just like it or it would provide power just like it would anywhere in the united states in addition in addition to that it has the usb ports and it also has a um the newer uh c port i know the camera's kind of kind of crazy on this one but the c type usb port where you can uh the newer iphones your uh, macbook pro or what have you charge those all right. Next, we have the portable battery pack. Now, this one is, you know, uh, this is my company issued one, so it's a little bit bigger, but you need to have your portable battery pack. You're on the road, you're on your phone. Next thing you know, you're on 2%, 5%. You just can't risk running out of battery on your, your lifeline, which is your phone. Well, for me, it's my phone when I'm abroad in these streets and I need to navigate and, and figure things out. So, Definitely a battery pack. Next, we have a speaker. It's a portable speaker. And I mean, it's it's simple, but I like having a little piece of me wherever I go. So whenever I'm getting ready to go out and out of town, go out to you know dinner with the crew, I like being able to have my Bluetooth speaker, hook it up, get some jams while I'm getting ready, okay? Lastly, um, you always want to have local currency, you know, and I'd recommend $200, um, uh, $200 worth, you know, whatever U.S. equivalency to wherever you're at, um, $200 worth because with cash, you never know when, you know, you're going to visit the street markets. If you want to buy something on the streets, whether it be food or, or product or merchandise or, you know, let's say. Your crew members get a little too too rowdy. Your colleagues get a little too rowdy. You go ahead, you know, pay the, the police officer, you know, some cash, look the other way, tell them you'll, you'll bring a crew member, you'll leave. You want no problems. Cash is absolutely king. Taxis or what have you, cash is king. And along with cash, uh, I have an expired ID. 
just definitely don't want to travel with your your passport on the streets obviously not um so expired id um and also your favorite credit card my favorite american express platinum no international fees and amex is pretty much accepted uh in like 90 percent of the countries that i've been to and outside of that i have a visa as well so favorite credit card expired id and local currency that's the only thing i'm going to carry on me while i'm out here um walking the streets so in case i get robbed no big deal they can have all of that and you know the credit cards you can cancel them real easy to get a new one so those are my must-haves whenever I travel internationally, abroad, whether I'm at work or I'm going on a leisure pleasure trip. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, lastly, please subscribe to my YouTube page. Um, it's Cargo Bay. Go ahead, subscribe there. I'm going to have some exclusive content and I'm making episodes like specifically made for YouTube. So make sure you find your girl on YouTube, subscribe, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.